Hey, what's up everyone? So, I just, I want to go ahead and give a life update video. I know I've been doing a variety of different types of videos lately. But, what happened today is, uh, originally my father was going to have to go take his 34 hour break on the road in Georgia. But he didn't have to do that. He got to be home on Super Bowl Sunday. And... He then had to have a doctor's appointment today. He went in to the doctor to tell them about all the things that have been going on. How he felt so bad. And they said, well, if you had COVID, you'd know it. That's the good thing. But they, uh, he, he went in and told them about his high blood pressure. So they gave him some lisinopril, and they gave him some other things. They gave him refills on his metformin, glimepiride, and furosemide, and all that, his uh, medicines for his diabetes. But the other thing, they put him on a cholesterol medicine, that some new trial thing. It costs $500 a month. And the insurance only brought it down to that. They brought it down to $500. Down to $500. And that's insane, but that's what they brought it down to. He said, I, I can't take that. I can't pay that every month. And that's that's what he... he uh, probably He's probably only going to take that every once in a while as needed. Basically, when he feels super stressed. But they also upped his, they had him on a starter pill for his uh, anxiety and mood. But they finally, the uh, sertraline, they put up. That's good news, they put it up to 50 milligrams. So, for his uh, anxiety and, and moodiness with, that comes along, goes along with diabetes. Which, we all get a little moody, but, you know, with diabetics, it's worse. I actually need to, I actually want to get some of that myself. Take some of that myself to help me out with balance my anxiety and mood. But, anyway, he talked to the doctor about all that. I claimed it on, I claimed it for, uh, Aflac. Uh, they said they're processing it, they're gonna, they'll probably get it by tomorrow. But... $500 for a little a pill bottle. That's just, that seems ridiculous to me. He said he can't do that every month, but he said he'll uh, just take it basically every once in a while as needed. But his blood pressure was too high, the cholesterol's too high. They were afraid he'd have a heart attack like that. And, but that mood medicine or anxiety medicine helps out with, he said that, they said that'll help out for the, uh, um, so he doesn't get all strung out as much, hopefully, so that it helps lower the blood pressure where things don't bother him as much. Maybe he thinks, maybe things won't bother him as much and he can, it can be, he can be calmer. So let's pray that all that works out. But it's so flipping high to get medicine. They gave him some dicyclamine for the uh, irritable bowel because he took one of mine and it really helped. For uh, irritable bowel syndrome, where it, where you just have really bad bowel issues, so hopefully everything balances out, and works out. Just keep us in your prayers. That's an update on today. Peace. Signing out.